Hi, this, this is a story about a Vietnam vet. My name is Jim Green. I served during 1971-1974. I did a tour of duty over at Vietnam. I was stationed at Chu Lai, Quan Tre, and Da Nang. Uh, my MOS was a medic. I was airborne qualified. And my most traumatic experience, I have to say, was when I was dropped off into Vietnam in a parachute. And uh, as I'm getting down to the ground, getting closer to the ground, I see all these Vietnamese women and children running around. And that was a wake-up call for me. So after I landed, I packed up my chute and ran off to this big tent. And for the most part, that's where I stayed for a good seven months uh, tending to uh, other soldiers who were wounded being a medic. My experience getting wounded was kind of traumatic. I guess a lot of soldiers while we were over there experimented with drugs. I personally didn't, but uh, the first, second, third time around that time that I did, we, we were uh, dug in in a foxhole and um, I carry a 45 being a medic, not an M16. And uh, we got raided, and uh, I had camouflage over my foxhole, and as I look up, I could see a gook with an M16 getting ready to smash me in the face, because I guess there was no clip in it, because I didn't see a clip, and he smashed me in the face, shattered my nose, and I fell back into the foxhole, and as I'm trying to stop him from hitting me again, he started stabbing me in the wrist and the hand, and I can remember falling back in it, and trying to get back out and as I was getting out he took the M16 and he turned it around and he shoved the bayonet right in my knee as I had one knee out of the foxhole and I fell back passed out and woke up in July and that was four days later I had woken up and they told me what had happened and that's my experience